Welcome back, everybody, to uh, the Jedi Fallen Order. I am an old guy gaming. We're picking up right where we left off. Uh, so I went back to Ongo Bongo, or whatever the hell that boss's name is, uh, whacked him to get my XP and life back, and then got away from him, and then uh, came back this way, meditated uh, to heal up, and now we're going to continue on with the main story. Uh, like I said, though, we will we will pay him a visit again uh, before we leave this place, for sure. All right, let's go ahead and go the way BD wants us to go. Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. Okay. Oh. Hold on, I'm coming. This is a cut scene. Okay, now I can come. Whoa. Okay. So, um, let's go in here first, I guess. There's another one of those force thingamadoodles. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. Yeah, I think that's kind of obvious. <laughs> Data update force echo escape. Oh, okay, so if we hit escape, we can actually see what he's learning about. Oh, that's cool. So we've got Tactical Guide Databank Customization. Research notes. Meticulous handcrafted notes on the energy sphere left behind by the researcher on Bogana. That must have been what we found in that other place. Okay. And since that says two and four, oh, okay. So there's 13 of these in total that we need to find. Awesome. Okay. And then, of course, larder is pretty obvious. It's a larder. Tactical Guide. Mark all his red space. Select. Oh, Ogdo Bogdo. Sever the tongue with a combination of the force and lightsaber attacks. Oh, so if he... Oh, okay. So when he does his little stung, uh, stung, tongue stick out thing, we can do the force slow thing and cut his tongue off. Highly aggressive, tremendous speed, powerful stamina, and lightsaber resistant. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, the rare Ogdo Bogdo is a fiendishly formidable abomination, even deadlier than its common relative. This hyper-aggressive predator attacks with ferocity, constantly maneuvering towards its prey to inflict greater injury at close range. The creature's speed and stamina are unmatched, making it difficult to parry or strike its lightsaber-resistant shell straight on. Okay, but we can, uh, you know, we can take take the dude's tongue off, so that's good to know. We'll, we'll have to try that the next time we fight him. Uh, okay, escape. So that's the only entry that we have? Apparently, there's there's four other things, and he, I, I think we were we're probably supposed to fight him last. <laughs> I think we're maybe a little bit premature there, but that's okay. We had fun, you know, trying it out. So, uh, the researcher, yeah, that's what we found. Data data bank customization, BD one. Yeah, we'll keep him the normal color. Nantis is blue. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Okay, let's keep on, keep on keeping on here. Is this a thing? No. All right. So can't go through there, obviously. Let's come this way. Hey, that was pretty brave. You okay? His foot's hurt. Wait, I can help you with that. Will you let me? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, your scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. We're fixing him up. Hmm. Okay, try that. The vault. Yeah, that's where I was headed, too. Okay. Well, first we've got to figure out a way out of this place. Customized lightsaber. Oh, neat. Okay. Emitter, switch, sleeve, material. Color. We could do a green lightsaber. 
Yeah, let's do green. That's cool. Emitter. We only have the one option there. Okay. What about switch? So I guess we come across, we find, you know, different things that we can change the look at this later on. That's cool. All right. Nifty. Oh, look at that. Green lightsaber. Cool. The colors change in the lightsabers by, by the crystals that you put in them. I know that from reading some of the Star Wars novels. Okay, so... I guess that's all we do in here, right? Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. Oh, there, you open the door for us. Check it's him like out. Fit, but this should work. Okay, hold to illuminate. This looks like to whoever lived here, this was their bedroom. Does this do anything? Huh. Oh, it wants us to examine this. Those vines look like they lead somewhere. Hope they're sturdy. All right. I th think we want to go this way. Oh. What the hell? How come he couldn't get over there? Was I too high up? There we go. All right. Big old pile of junk there. Hmm. Can we hit those? That doesn't look safe. Especially with the water down there. Is this like a, a power switch? Not sure what what we would do here. I have a feeling like hitting this is not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe that was what was supposed to happen. Yeah, I'm all right. Heal. Stim. You're full of surprises. <clears throat> That's better. Thanks, little droid. Cool. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Here, hop on board. All right. So now we've got our, our healing. So, BD1 heals Cal with replenishable it. stem cancers. Nice. Don't remember? I've never known a forgetful droid. Multiple entries. The journey begins. Cal Kestis, a former Jedi Padawan, has been hiding out on Bracca since Order 66. Cal joined a scrapping crew and lived in hiding for years with Blue's cover when he used the Force to save his friend Prof from a deadly fall. This prompted the ruthless Second and Ninth Sisters, Second and Ninth Sisters, to attack him. Oh, so we fought a second and a ninth sister. Okay. Uh, I thought the whole order was called just the second sisters. Cal was narrowly saved by two mysterious individuals, Siri Junda and Greets Drittus. Now they find themselves on the remote planet Bagano, ready to discover the secrets of an ancient vault. Very cool. Siri Junda is a former Jedi who survived Order 66. After years in seclusion, she teamed up with Starship Captain Greet Strittus on a secret mission to rebuild the Jedi Order. After saving Cal from the Imperial Inquisitors, she begins to mentor him. Okay. Greet Strittus is a four-armed Latero and captain of the Mantis. He works for Siri Junda, uh, Junda and appears to hold her in high esteem despite his otherwise her... Kermund, oh jeez, Louise, what kind of word is that? Kermudgeonly nature. I think that's how you pronounce that. After saving Cal on Braca, Greets reluctantly accepts the young Jedi's friendship. 
All right. BD1. Cal encounters BD1 while exploring the mysterious world of Pagano. BD1 is curious, good-natured, and utterly fearless in the face of danger. He has quickly grown attached to Cal and seems intent on leading the young Jedi towards something or someone waiting inside the ancient vault that looms over Bogano's horizon. Nice. Okay. So we've already looked at that stuff. Flora and Fauna. Uh, Flora and Fauna. Baraka is a poor mid-rim world dominated by rocky plains. It was the site of a fierce campaign during the Clone Wars. Battles in orbit and on the surface raged as the Separatists attempted to wrest away Republic control of the system. The Scepters, Separatists were aided by sympathizers from within the Scrapper, Yard, or Scrapper Guild, nearly leading to their victory over the planet. In retaliation, the newly formed Empire cut wages and lowered safety standards within Bracca's scrapyards. Ibdis Maw. Bracca is home to the Ibdis Maw, a superior organism that superficially resembles Tatooine Sarlaccs. Okay, so that's a different thing not the Sarlacc. The various mouths of Ibdis Maw connect to a vast distributed digestive system that resides hundreds of meters below Baraka's surface. The mouths of the Maw that in reside in the scrapyard have swollen to immense size, fed by a steady diet of starship material. Wow, that sounds tasty. Okay. Empire on Bracket. The Scrapper Guild. The Scrapper Guild is a network of engineers and laborers that operate in, the con in concert with the Galactic Empire, recycling and repurposing technology, machinery, and infrastructure throughout the galaxy. Since the rise of the Empire, the Scrapper Guild has focused heavily on an expensive but highly successful campaign to do away with all vehicles, equipment, and technology associated with the Republic. Starship Scrapyard. Scrapping is the most profitable industry on Bracket. During the Clone Wars, the planet's facilities were optimized to break down enormous flagships. Now, it continues to be a center for the disposal of starships despite Imperial ire with the Scrapper Guild. Bracca Cargo Trains. Bracca Cargo Trains serve as a high-speed transport network for parts being shipped off-world. The average shipment travels through 25 security checkpoints before being exported to the core worlds for a resale. Interesting information. Interesting information. Uh, okay, here's where we get our quest. And we've already read... We've already read that part. Okay, cool. So this is all in the databank section, so that way we know where to get to it. Whenever we get a new uh, addition, we'll take a look at this. And uh, I'll, you know, if you, I'll also, when I edit these videos, I'll tell you guys that don't want, uh, you know, to go through the reading parts, uh, you know, where the action continues on. Uh, so that way you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Okay, cool. Um, I think we're ready to go. Let's do it. Can't argue with that. Okay, so as long as he's like on our back, then we can see what's going on. All right, cool. So behind us, we've got a new uh, unexplored area. And then there's some kind of... Uh, zoom. There we go. There's some kind of crane-looking thing behind us, too. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that's a zip line. I bet you that's what that is. That's probably a zip line. Okay. And the main objective is over way off that way. Cool. Okay, so it looks like... Yeah, that just goes back out the way we came. Okay, so let's come this way. Yeah, that, uh, no. Is that a zipline? It's a crane of some sort. Okay. Cut. Okay, so that, I guess that helps us get back up here later if we need to. Alright, let's go up this way. That's where we need to go. I can feel it. Oh, okay. So that continues our quest to go along that way. Was there anything else, though, that we needed to do in here, or are we done in here? I think we're done in here. That rope, again, is just probably an easy way, easier way for us to get up here. Like a little shortcut idea. Alright, so BD wants us to go down there. Um, let's try to see if there's anything else we might have missed. A 
Okay. All right, let's do this. Great Divide. Another one? Those statue guys are kind of cool looking. You mapped everywhere we've been. Certain paths will be inaccessible to Cal until he possesses the right abilities. Switch elevation to highlight different areas of the map. So Q and E. Oh, okay, cool. That's neat. New objective added to Tahala. There. We gotta find another way. Okay, so there's something down below us that we have to get to. Okay. So that means... What does that mean? Down there, I think, is where we have to go. So... We get there from that... Zip line. My goodness, though. How do we get down to there? Um... Oh, okay, we got finds here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. How do we... Oh, shit! How are we supposed to latch onto those? Oh, not good! Alright, so there's a vine to get over there. What's this, though? This is like a loot container, I think. Where are you going? What was in there? Poncho material acquired. Bogana Dawn. Okay. Okay, there's the zip line. And here's a save point. Alright, let's do this. I don't know why it's telling us that again. Yeah, we can't do anything with that right now, so. There's another echo thingamadoodle. This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Traveling to the vault. A tool used by a traveler who wanted to reach the mysterious vault. Uh, okay. That's all you're going to tell me? <laughs> anything up in there? Uh, you know what we should probably do? If I wonder if we still get the echo point even if we have to reload. I bet you we do. In fact, I, I know we do. Because we had to reload a couple times when we were trying the boss and I still had the the previous echo. Or did I? Yeah, I, I believe so. Okay. Anything over this way? Nope. Thanks, BD1. Bograt. Bograt will burrow into the ground as a deception before attacking. Easy to parry. Avoid being surrounded. Okay. A common pest, the Bograt is a simple predator that feeds off small creatures like boglings. Their poor eyesight makes them easy prey to their natural enemy, the Ogdo. Often attacking in packs, they will surround their foes in numbers appearing to retreat. They are known to burrow below ground as a slide offense before springing to attack, surprising their prey. Their hardened skin makes them somewhat resistant to lightsaber attacks. Okay. Oh, interesting. All right, looks like we got to go this way. Oh, shit! Run for it! Here, let's deal with this guy first. Just because I don't want him attacking while we're... Oh, shit! I don't want him... These little guys attacking while we're fighting the bigger guy here. 
Okay. So he's probably, I'm guessing, not as badass as the boss guy, but he's probably still dangerous. Oh, I wonder if I wonder if we can do that on the boss too. Oh shit! Stim. <laughs> Your force meter's empty. Damage enemies to regain force. Oh, okay. I tried to dodge past him there, but obviously wasn't very successful. Oh shit, he got me. Okay. I can see why they, um, recommend using a controller, because these fights are very reminiscent of, you know, Dark Souls types of games. They're not... I wouldn't call them easy. Definitely not easy. And that's good, though. I don't want them to be easy. Okay, let's try this again. Um, let's just double check that we still have our Echo thingamadoodle. Yeah, we do. Okay, I figured we would, but just wanted to make sure. There was something up there. Okay, so this guy's got all of our XP and stuff. Now we get it back. said we were supposed to be able to uh, use the force on this and chop his tongue off. Ah! <laughs> Toss it. Oh man, I don't want to get caught in the corner. These little bastards are not making this easy. Let's see if we can get them out of the way first. Need a stem. Let's get healed back up. Close one. Yeah, so let's get these guys out of the way first. Where's he at? Where'd he go? We didn't kill him, did we? Oh, there he is. Okay, I was gonna say, I didn't think we killed him. Yeah. Okay. Ah, shit. Okay. Got him. Whew. Escape, Ogdo. Sever the tongue with a combination of the force and lightsaber attacks. I thought we already tried that, though. Highly dangerous lightsaber resistance. So, yeah, this is basically the same as the boss. It's just that he's way worse. Um, hmm. Okay. 
Oh man, that thing's terrible looking. Um, why does it say to scan again? Oh, we're, he's scanning that. Did that give us information about that thing? Oh, we never read about the, the sisters. Other characters. Okay, yeah, let's do this really quick. Second sister, the relentless Imperial Inquisitor, the second sister arrives on Brock at a hunt Cal Kessis, a surviving Jedi Padawan. Sadistically toying with her prey, she ruthlessly kills Cal's friend Prof, uh, Prof before striking. In the attack, Cal is forced to flee, barely escaping, but the hunt has only begun. Ninth sister. The sardonic ninth sister joins the second sister in hunting for Cal Kessis on Bracca, a powerful Dawitan. The ninth sister's presence creates terror wherever she goes, a fact she relishes. Jaro Topol. The memory of the Jaro, of Jaro Topol, Cal's uh, deceased master, still haunts the former Padawan. An imposing Lassat, Jaro Topol served the Republic with distinction during the Clone Wars. Other characters. Prof. On Bracca, an ab... Abednedo, scrap worker, named Prof, befriends and mentors Cal. When an accident almost claims Prof's life, Cal uses the Force to save him, but recklessly reveals himself as Jedi. Soon, Imperial Inquisitors arrive for Cal, but Prof gives his own life to save him, allowing Cal a chance to escape. Uh, okay. Cool. Alright, so we gotta do something with this. It's glowing red. Do we force... No, we don't force... Force, force it. We, we can't get over there, can we? All right. So, BD scanned this, but to what? what we're supposed to do but I'm not really sure um and I wonder too you know what the glowing red thing means we can't do anything with it that way okay let's look at the map Okay, so that way is blocked to us. Um, oh, right, the vines. The vines. And there's another save point thing. Subterranean refuge. Oh, we got a skill point. Nice. Okay, so... Let's see. It looks like the tree branches off to force, lightsaber, or survival. So what does this do? This... Cal's maximum force is increased. Uh, holding slow allows Cal to slow his target for longer duration. Okay, what's this do? This uh, this gives us more life. Well, okay, that's good. One skill point. Cal dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. Hold F. Attacking after a quick evade allows Cal to quickly perform a kick attack. Attacking out of a sprint allows Cal to perform a special lightsaber attack. Hold left shift. Hold F. All right, well, um, I'd kind of, I think I want to kind of go the force route. So he'll be kind of more like a, you know, like a, a caster Jedi. Wouldn't probably wouldn't hurt though for me to get a little more health too. I mean, all of them are going to be good, but let's go. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's go the force route. 
I mean, we'll probably put some points into the other stuff too, but maximum force increase. Excellent. Okay. So that uh, Bogdo thingamadoodle is back down there now, isn't he? Okay. We could probably, we could probably go down and keep fighting him, you know, just to farm it up. In fact, here, let's go over here for a second. Just explore for a minute. See what's what's going on. You know, eventually we're supposed to be able to do the wall walk thing, but we haven't learned that skill yet. So it doesn't look like there's anything else we can do over here for now. All right, so we got more of the mole rat thingamadoodles, and there's a there's another force thing down there too. Boy, how would you get to that? I wonder. We have to do like a, a long flying... Oh, there's one up there too. Alright, let's try this. Oh! Couldn't, didn't quite make that. Oh, he wants us to talk to him. Parafish. Parafish inhabit large bodies of water feeding primarily on small algae and fragments, or small algae fragments, another planet. Plants. Bleh. When algae supply grows scarce, many fish die off. Their decomposition process raises the acidity of the water, gradually wearing away at the ground below and forming sinkholes. Ooh, sinkholes. Yeah, that's probably not what we want. All right, so I wonder how one would get up there. Yeah, there's more, looks like there's more wall walking options here. New terrarium seed acquired. Oh, okay. Terrarium seed. Gotta go back around this way. Okay, let's look at our map for a second. Alright, yeah, this is the way we need to go. What's that making that noise? Oh, there goes the timer. Okay. I'm not sure what's making that noise. I don't think we can make that jump. Yeah. Oh, he's got found something. Zara thrive in rocky, windy habitats where their low stance and adhesive grip provide fast and agile traversal over multiple surfaces. Like cavern walls, highly sensitive to climate, they function slower in war excuse me, warmer temperatures than cold ones. Job. But what are we looking at exactly? Is he talking about those little things with the tail fins? Sounds like some dangerous creature snoring see something in there 
Oh, what's that? Master? Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Run and jump toward, toward raged walls to wall run. Okay. my position try again trust yourself yes master okay all right let's try this again it must good. have something to again. do good. oh shit clumsy well <laughs> <laughs> clumsy. Yeah, that was clumsy. There's no denying that. Okay. So let's try this again. Alright, so I think you have to... Try to figure out... I think you have to keep your finger on Focus. the... Focus. I, I, I wonder if I'm supposed to, like, do a jump. Like, hit the space bar right towards the end of that. I bet you that's what I'm, miss I'm missing. Try it again. Yeah, that's what I'm missing. Okay, gotcha. Whoa! I did it. Okay. Persistence and the force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. Okay. So yeah, what we, what we have to do is we have to hit the space bar um, to jump. After the wall run. If we need to, like, a little extra boost. Okay, cool. That's going to be useful. All right. Let's just go up here really quick. Think we you can show me that shortcut again. Reach the vault. Oh, there's a shortcut. Okay. Where are we at? We're down there. Cool. Okay. Goes up. Okay, right above us is a um, is the save point thing. Yeah. Okay. So that we don't. I think the, I don't think there's anything else that we need to do over there. So we should be able to. Man, how do you? I wonder how you get to that thing. Can you like get up and then drop down? Seems like a kind of a long drop. Like right here. Whoa! <laughs> nope. See, I, I'm, I haven't figured out how you can like turn around and then drop down off a cliff. I wonder if you really do jump from up there. That's how you're supposed to do it. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, here. No, oh, no, 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 no. Here, try it again. Yeah, I see. Okay. So what we've got to do is do this. So, okay, so, but I think we, we have to... 
we have to jump at each section. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Almost made it. Just gotta get the timing down. Just gotta get the timing down. Okay. We got this. Okay, well, I'm hitting the... I'm releasing the, the space bar button. I'm not timing that right. Okay. Look at that. Awesome. Okay. This area was used for meditation by someone familiar with the Jedi Order. Meditation. A meditation area well hidden. Whoever was here knew the Jedi Order. Cool. All right. Awesome. We did it. We did it. Look at us and our bad selves. All right. Let's get back up to the meditation point, and then we have to... Uh, Wrap it up. Oh yeah, see there's a thing up there too. Wonder how we would get to that. Okay. There's an area up that way. Ah, okay. So we would wall run around there to get to that spot. Okay, well, anyway, uh, we'll try that uh, when we start the next episode. So I'm going to meditate here, guys, save the game, all that sort of thing, and then when we come back, we will see if we can get up to that spot, and then we will continue on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the, out the video, leave a comment. All those things help the channel. I appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.